quick and simple compositing techniques. In this video we're going to look at some very quick and simple compositing techniques using Add Image Layer, what I have done in the past. This time we're going to stamp the layer and then we are going to remove all colour information from the edit. Let's dive right in. Okay, that's us now in Luminar and what we are going to do is we are going to straight away, we're not going to adjust anything because what we're going to do is we're going to make this a black and white composite but I'm going to show you how to get there relatively quickly. That will mean the edits I do won't be finished but it'll give you the idea of how to get there in the end. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new image layer and I am going to look for this image here which is Buchel Distant. Click open and that will drop in on top of this and it will actually fill what I need it to do but I actually need to move it down ever so slightly so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take down the opacity slightly and then go into layer transform and take it down to around round about there I'm going to stretch it out just a tiny bit just stay around there and I can see where it is. I'm going to click done for this. So if I've got the if I've got the image opacity which is new in 4.1, what you can do here is you can use the multiply light and sc screen overlay soft light, just one that shows you where it is for this. For example, luminosity would show me where it is. Currently I'm going to leave it there, I am then going to go in and edit the mask and for this I'm going to use a brush and I'm going to paint in what I need. So I am going to just do this here and paint in the water and as I say I'm doing this quite liberally just for the purposes of this video. So there we have it there. So that I now have the water in and what I need for this. Remember I'm taking this to black and white at the end. So I'm going to erase just a couple of areas up here. And to make the blend seem more natural, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the opacity down and I'm going to increase the brush size. Just about there. So as you notice I am not painting on my actual new image layer because I want the blend to come through there. It's went through there. Possibly a bit too much. I'll go back to paint and I'll paint it back in. So just to around there. Right so that's me. I have the first layer in. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new image layer. And this time I'm going to add the Buchel portrait, which is spelt wrong as you'll see. Click open. First thing I'm going to do is layer transform. And what I'm going to do is I am going to take the water down to around that size. Just there. Around about there. And I'm going to click done. And this time again, I'm going to edit the mask and I'm going to paint in what I want to keep. So for this, I'm going to take the opacity back up. I'm going to take the, soft, the size of the brush back down so that I have a wee bit more control. And using the paint option, I'm going to paint in what I want to keep. So you'll see basically what I'm doing here. I'm creating a composite image using the brush to blend everything back in. And as I say, this won't be a finished image, but it will it'll give you an idea of how to create these for yourself. And there'll be areas that will go in and I'll add and areas that will take away. And to do that, what you do basically is go to areas and take out what you don't want. So if I was doing this as a finished image, I'd be jumping back and forward in here looking for areas that 
I could use to mask out what those rocks there, they, they actually help quite a bit. They'll be able to break the blend. So if I go in there, just around there. And if you want to see already what we've masked in, that's what we've masked in already. The next part here I'll speed up because I'm going to go in and tidy up around this area. So When I'm moving about the screen I'm using the space bar and the left button of the mouse when I'm zoomed in. So that's me for that. I'm going to leave it at this and what I want to do now is I want to show you black and white with this. As I said it's a black and white composite. It's not the greatest of scenes, greatest of images, but it just it lets you see how you can get to where you need to be relatively quickly. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get in and create a new stamped layer using those three layers. Okay, now that we have the stamped layer in place, we can go in and change it to black and white. So if I get in and convert to black and white, you see that the image looks more natural. It looks as if we possibly could have taken it there. But what I want to point out with the convert to black and white, the colour information is still there. What the black and white conversion does, it removes the saturation. It does not remove the colour. So if I get into saturation and I push the blue, the blue will come back in the sky and in the water and everything here. So to remove it totally so that you're editing with black and white, if you create another stamped layer based on the image that's on the screen, this layer you'll be working with will now be black and white. It will have no colour information. And that's where we're looking to go with this. Just a few more edits and we'll get it to where we want it to be. And it will just be small tweaks within the image. So the layer before that where I made a black and white conversion, it just desaturated the image. The colour information was there. For this one now, this will be a totally black and white layer. No colour information. Okay, that's us into our final stamped layer and we're now working solely in black and white. And you'll notice that I've got rid of some layers here. How you get rid of them is go into layer, go down and delete the layer. So all I have now is my original starting layer and then my now current stamped layer. This is the one I'm going to edit with the black and white. So I'm going to go into light and I'm going to pull the highlights back. I'm also going to pull the shadows back slightly and boost some smart contrast in here. Just to around there. Next thing I am going to do is I'm going to go into AI Enhance and I'm going to push that. So as you can see the image is now coming through. Uh, Sky Enhancer, I may use, I may not. Yep, it's adding a bit of contrast to that. AI Structure. Adding a bit more, which means I would get back into the light and pull some of the highlights back even further. I am then going to go into the Details Enhancer. Possibly too much there. I uh, small details, denoise. If I wanted to, I could go in and add any of these at all. Fog, mystical, matte look, dramatic. I think there's enough drama here as it is. So I may go in and add the autumn effect. And that just might be enough. So you see we've got a nice contrast right through the image. We're always drawn here. We are always drawn here. So what you can do now is you can go in and add a new adjustment layer. And in the adjustment layer, you can go down to dodge and burn. So now that we're in the dodge and burn layer, this is the adjustment layer, I'm just going to add a few little areas just to bring the image together. Right now we have a very bright sky. So using this, I'm going to start to hopefully tie these together. So I am going to lift some light through the water. I'm just going to lighten that slightly. In here I am also going to add 
a tiny bit there, tiny bits through this. Up here I'm going to make my brush bigger because I want this blend here to show up and not be as harsh. The rocks in here I'm just going to paint over. If I was doing this as a finished image I would definitely be taking my time with this but I'm just doing it here just to show you how it can tie together. And what I'll do for the purposes of this video to save going in and painting and painting and painting because I've got a dodge and burn video coming up in the near future. I could go in and I could darken some of my sky just there just to allow some more contrast coming through. Not too much because the good thing about this is I can pull it back. And you'll see it changing. So I'll pull it back to around there. And I'll leave that image at that. So this is what we started with. Here. And that's what we have now. Hopefully that lets you see how quick and simple it can be done. And by no way at all was that a finished image. The techniques were the main basis for this video. I'm also going to look at editing your images in black and white, plus go into more detail about the dodging and burning. I've just brushed over it here just to show you how to get there very, very quickly, but there is a lot more to the technique itself. And hopefully from that you've got a rough idea where to start and what it can do, and I mean a rough idea with this. I would just like to say thank you very much for all your support in 2019. It's actually been amazing. All the comments, negative or positive, it has actually been amazing for me. So I'd like to say thank you very much. I look forward to doing more videos in 2020 and I wish everybody a brilliant new year, however you celebrate it. Big thumbs up if you've enjoyed this video. Uh, if you'd like to check out some more videos down below, please help yourself and consider subscribing. And thanks again for watching.